Hello everyone, good to see you again, long time, no see, okay, and uh, yes, I did not uh, send any emails, uh, any uh, invitations, you know, to my live stream, uh, but I'm streaming on multiple platforms today, and if you're watching me on Facebook or Twitter or Twitch, I would highly encourage you to go to my YouTube channel. So it's a YouTube forward slash and my last name, which is Grabovetsky. My name is Alexander Grabovetsky, for those of you who don't know me. And um, uh, I'm going to do a not that long live stream. Let me know, please, uh, if uh, you can hear me OK, if uh, you can see me OK, if the sound is good, if the quality is good and uh, that would help me a lot okay so but uh, i decided to do my live streams a little differently uh, uh, you know uh, I'm, I'm getting emails pretty much every day not only emails i'm getting uh, text messages emails messages over the facebook which is okay i mean uh, i mean go ahead and ask me any question and i'm glad i'm getting i'm not always uh, replying uh, because I'm getting hundreds and hundreds emails daily and uh, sometimes for me it's just physically impossible to reply and answer all the questions I'm getting uh, some questions are really good and some questions on you know <laughs> little less than good I should say but anyway uh, I think uh, it would be easier for me uh, to answer some questions let's say not in one live stream because you know not everyone ready to watch like uh, an hour long live stream so i think it's probably gonna be much better to do shorter live streams and answer let's say one question which i receive by email or online uh, in my online school uh, which is a school of woodcarving.com and i apologize for you know my phone is ringing let me actually you know what let me turn my phone off again um, if you are watching me on uh, facebook or twitter periscope uh, or Twitch, just go to on YouTube channel. It's much better quality, okay? So, and I can control who's uh, watching me, who's not watching. Oh, good to see uh, everybody who's already connected. Danilo, Paul, and I'm pretty sure I missed a bunch of you. Let me see. Let me see if I missed uh, some of you. All right. So, Louis, Steve, uh, some people in Arabic or Farsi language, which I, which I don't, you know, speak. But anyway, Salam Alaikum and uh, hi, everyone. OK, so but uh, today, uh, uh, one of the questions, uh, actually, I'm getting multiple questions. Uh, same question, just uh, worded differently. Uh, uh, and I expect that, and that's OK. So the question is actually about uh, beginner. OK, and uh, um, uh, lots of you carving uh, for many years uh, for example i met the person uh, when i was teaching in uh, a school uh, in mark adams school last year and uh, he said i'm carving many years uh, pretty much uh, you know all life but still consider themselves as a beginner and the question is what beginner in wood carving should look when um, when he decided to buy some wood carving tools what wood carving tools really he needs to buy okay or you know i'm not talking about the brand okay so there's a lots of brands but i'm talking about uh, individual tools okay what tools are the best uh, to buy first okay and uh, what you can do with those tools and today i mainly gonna talk about just the two tools okay just two tools which is um, you can use uh, to carve let me see if uh, I'm missing someone, Lori, good to see you. Uh, hello, everyone. So hope the weather is good. I just came from Chicago and uh, in Chicago, it was 
really cold, okay? Uh, it's not only cold, but there was a snow a storm and I couldn't uh, get on time on my uh, plane. So I had to wait. It was delayed a few hours and I got home only about uh, 2.30 a.m., like almost 3 o'clock uh, a.m. pretty much, you know, uh, when I got out of Chicago. But uh, it was cold and I'm in Florida and in Florida, you know, it's beautiful weather. And I, when I was in Chicago, I constantly checked the weather on my phone and then Chicago was uh, below zero, not below zero in Fahrenheit, in Celsius I'm talking about. It was like 30 or 31 uh, Fahrenheit. That, that's not that cold, but uh, when you uh, look at, at your phone and on your phone you see the temperature in your home in Florida, it's a 75 degrees and uh, uh, humidity is only 54 degrees and sunshine uh, i mean you kind of miss your home but that's not the point of today's uh, <laughs> live stream okay so majid hello good to see you okay so now so let's uh, get uh, uh, to the main question uh, the best tools uh, for wood carving for the beginner okay for the beginner that is the big question. Uh, some of you actually watching me, not only in the live stream, but also after the live stream and uh, asking, uh, you know, that question. So you don't have, let's say, budget to buy really expensive tools. Uh, you don't have uh, lots of money, okay? But you still want to get uh, the right tools and you want to start in a, uh, in a wood carving. Uh, doesn't matter, profession or just a hobby, okay? And number one tool, what I love, number one tool, just guess what tool I'm going to talk about, okay? So that is uh, just a knife, okay? That is just a knife. That's what uh, number one tool you probably should get, a wood carving knife. This one particular one is uh, my favorite. It's number 12 uh, Swiss made. And... Um, I have this one for a long time and I love it. Uh, that is a, just a cheap carving knife. There's a lot of different knives. Uh, I have, uh, I don't know, I've got uh, maybe 20, 25 or maybe more knives, but uh, they just collecting dust in uh, my drawer and I'm pretty much using this baby all the time. I mean, I've got uh, two of them. So it's not just uh, one knife. I've got two knives, uh, uh, number 12s, and I use that uh, all the time. And uh, why is that important uh, to have that knife? With the knife, uh, with the knife, you can actually uh, do pretty much almost anything. And my teacher would tell me, if you can master knife, so you will be able to master any other tool. So with the knife, you can just do pretty much any operation, any concaves, convexes, anything. So you can just get uh, pretty much 90% of work with the knife. Uh, and uh, I'm not talking about just a cheap carving. So I'm talking about uh, just a really 3D carving. So you can do, like I said, any type of shape. Uh, shape. Okay. So let me see whom I missed. Rustam, good to see you. Wood Burning Warrior, good to see you and uh, other people whom I can't pronounce uh, last names. But, uh, but like I said, the knife is the number one tool. So you can actually uh, do pretty much anything with the knife. And uh, it doesn't have to be file, okay? It doesn't have to be Swiss made. I love it uh, because I, I like the quality of the steel. Okay, so that's why uh, this one is uh, my favorite Tool. but you can see with just a knife I can pretty much can create any type of shape any type of shape uh, and yes I mean uh, it took me quite long time to master that knife but that like I said before that is a uh, number one tool what my teacher asked me to master and I'm glad I did uh, I know not in every culture, uh, you know, it's a really appreciated tool. Let's say in England, uh, it's not even considered as a wood carver's tool 
or wood carving tool, I should say. In you know, if you would just mention in England, or I should say in Great Britain, that uh, you are using knife for wood carving, so you're not considered as a, a wood carver. But uh, it is wood carving. It is. So and you can do lots of different operations uh, with the knife. And besides, uh, besides, if you know a little bit uh, uh, history. Uh, of wood carving. So just to go back uh, many years ago, okay, I'm talking about thousands years ago. So I'm not going to debate how many thousands uh, I believe in what I believe. I believe in the oldest book on the planet Earth Bible. And according to that book, it's not that many thousands of years. Uh, at least the oldest carving was found in, uh, uh, in the Middle East. Uh, so it was dated approximately about 4,000 years old or four and a half thousand years old. It was a lion, a lion head, okay? And uh, when you look at that carving, so you know what kind of tools they use. And they pretty much use just a knife, okay? So that is the oldest carvers uh, or carving tool, a wood carving tool, the oldest on the planet Earth. So the knife was uh, the main... Um, tool for them and that's a 3d shape of that line okay so uh, also if you just go back just about 1000 years uh, back uh, let's say in um, a scandinavian country uh, viking culture so uh, look at the uh, viking carving okay just to google it okay google that viking carving and uh, you will see all types of knot work and so on. Uh, and that is a really, I, I think it's uh, really interesting because uh, that's my theory. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, but anyway, when you look at the Viking carving, you can see they pretty much use just a knife. Okay. Beside whatever they used uh, to build the boats okay like axe or something like this okay but the, for the carving they use just a knife and they they've done amazing work there's a door i mean just uh, google it uh, like an uh, ancient door viking door and you will see all the cuts done by knife so that is why uh, i that is why i love that tool so that is the oldest and uh, you can do a lot of stuff okay so that is the tool number one let me see if i uh, missed uh, any comments, okay? Rustam, dobry vecher. Stanislav, здравствуйте, Alexandra. Надеюсь, будет запись на канале, а то мне пора на работу. Будет, сто процентов, не уберу. Okay. Jose, good to see you. Uh, Jose, I, uh, the question, do I have any DVD sets for sale? I do not have any DVD sets for sale. I don't uh, record any DVD sets. But if you want to watch uh, all of my videos, go to my school site. So that is, what, uh, is um, schoolofwoodcarving.com. I have over 2,500 videos. Okay, So we're talking about 2,500 videos. Uh, and I'm explaining while I'm carving and so on. So now, so I guess uh, you got it. So the tool number one, the tool number one would be knife. Okay. So that is uh, my favorite tool. And uh, like I said, you can do uh, with that tool all kinds of operations. Okay. So you can just really pretty much shape any 3D form. So you can use it on a pull. You can use it on a push. And uh, you can just uh, shape it really nicely, anything pretty much. So that is a beautiful, beautiful tool to have. So number two tool, number two tool, I would use probably number seven. Okay, number seven. And in my case, it's a 14 millimeters, about half an inch. And that is a gouge, okay? And if you don't know what is a gouge, uh, the gouge is pretty much uh, like a chisel, but it has a curvature, okay? So it's not like a flat chisel. So it has a, a curvature. So uh, if a chisel has a little curvature at the edge, 
that's called gouge. Not always, but uh, most of the time that would be a gouge. And in my case, I like uh, number seven gouge, okay? So what I mean by number seven, so the curvature right here, so it's not that big, it's a shallow, uh, and the higher number, the bigger curvature gonna be. Like number nine, it's uh, absolutely like a half a round, half a round, uh, 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 sweep we call it okay but uh, why is uh, number seven important because with the number seven you can do also a uh, lots of different operations so you can actually use it uh, uh, the normal way to just uh, remove some material and you can use it upside down okay so you can use it upside down and just to create pretty much uh, uh, any uh, roundness or round shapes so you can do anything and if you would ask me uh, if you would ask me what kind of carving you can you do uh, uh, with just the one gouge uh, i can show to you what is possible actually to use only one knife and one gouge okay let's say uh, let me show you um, let me think uh, which one i can show to you okay hold on just a second i believe that would be good okay hold on right here see uh, so uh, that is just a grape okay and it looks like it's really complicated and uh, i've done i mean i've done previously uh grape work if you wish just by using number seven it wouldn't it, it wasn't exactly the same number seven like that this one is a fish tail uh, it has a tail of a fish at the end you know if you look at it if you look at it it just looks like a tail of a fish I had just a straight, uh, like a really wide, but still about uh, maybe uh, 19 millimeters or something like that, about three quarters of an inch, uh, number seven. And I've done uh, some work uh, like what you just uh, see, okay? So some work like that. This one actually, not only number seven, uh, I used some number nines, but uh, if, you, if you are not looking for really deep uh, uh, excavations, uh, you can do any any uh, any shape with just uh, those two tools, okay? With those two tools, okay? Let me read uh, uh, some of the comments, okay? Richard, good to see you. Okay, there's a really interesting uh, comment I see. If you look at the old Irish bog oak carving holes in particular what sort of carving tools are, are they needed for those very small cuts uh, knife okay so that would be just a knife all right so i think um, hold on what have i done something <laughs> i've done uh, but uh, just a knife you can do like like i said any um, uh, any work you can do with just a knife and one gouge. Okay, we created those gouges from nails, like a, a big, a really thick uh, framer's nails. Uh, we would shape it as a, a gouge. We would just sharpen it and uh, uh, get some, uh, you know, heat treatment and so on. And we use that as a gouges. So that's it. I mean, only gouge and the only knife. If you would buy today, the you know the like a number one and number two tools those two tools would be go to okay if you want to buy only one tool i would buy probably only knife in this case like i said that would be number 12 number 12 hold on just a second uh, number 12 and uh, that is a swiss made by file okay so i like it although please uh, don't expect the quality uh out of the box okay so the newer uh, knives they don't have the quality and you have to kind of work around so you have to polish it and just to check if it has a wobble uh my knife has little wobble which uh, it's not a big deal but you really have to reshape and the new knives they coming a little longer okay so mine is a little shorter because um you know i just broke it okay i broke the edge another one i've got the long one but with the broken edge, so it, it works for me better, okay? But anyway, so with the knife, with the knife, 
you can work on any complicated work. So you can just uh, do any outline. You can remove uh, a lot of material with the knife and uh, do your work quickly, okay? All right, let me see if there's uh, any questions. Ron, good to see you also. All done. Okay, I hope it answers. Focus, which focus you talking about? Okay, wonderful people. So again, so like I said, like I said, uh, just uh, two main tools. If you would buy uh, another tool, if you would just add a third tool, I would definitely add uh, probably uh, some kind of vayner, okay? So which is uh, like a U-shape at the edge of the tool. So because uh, with the vayner, so you can use it as a multi-tool. So pretty much uh, just because it has a, a really, well, let me get the big one. You can see that better. So I can get much bigger one. Say so this one, okay? So that is a huge uh, 30 millimeters. But you can see it has a shape of a U, okay? So like a letter U. So, and you can use just the side of it and it would be like a gouge. You can just twist a little bit. That would be a different size of gouge because it, uh, it's going to have a lot more curvature. And if you just uh, place it uh, flute up straight down, that would give you the true U shape cut in. Okay. So, and you can just uh, use it as a multi tool. So, that would be number three tool. All right. Wonderful. Focus over overhead. So this one is not in focus, is what you're saying, right? Ron is saying uh, overhead shot is not in focus. But anyway, I'll um, I'll finish right now my live stream. So hopefully I'm gonna do um, much more live streams, uh, and it's not gonna take take as long, uh, you know, the preparation and so on. And I'm gonna do just a spontaneous, just to turn on and turn off, so without any notifications and so uh, i hope you like it uh, if you do like it uh, please i would really appreciate if you can uh, hit that whatever the like button if you uh, on the facebook or you know love if you're watching me on a different platform subscribe if you're watching me on um, youtube uh, that way youtube will send you notifications okay good to see you wonderful people and uh, I gonna finish. So I gonna finish my stream. Okay, hold on. There's a question. Hi, you mentioned Viking carving before, and I recommend everyone to Google Ernest. Yeah, absolutely. So he's got a, that is actually excellent um, source. I I know that source. And uh, this guy, he has multiple, multiple uh, patterns uh, uh, based on towns, okay, uh, Scandinavian towns, uh, Norse towns, I should say. Uh, well, uh, I should mention that Viking carving is not just like a knot work. You, I mean, that would be just too narrow, okay? Vikings, especially 8th century, 9th century, and uh, even uh, 10th century, when they traveled, uh, so they traveled and visited many different countries and they brought back some ideas, okay? And they develop unique styles and uh, different towns, they develop different styles. Some of them uh, brought that knot work from uh, Celtic or Celtic uh, culture. Uh, some of them didn't have any knot work, but uh, yes, absolutely. Just uh, go and just uh, check uh, his uh, portal. I hope you see uh, that on the screen. All right, so wonderful. Okay, I, I, I'm gonna finish, okay? Jose, I'm glad you're getting your work sharp tomorrow, wonderful. Thank you very much, wonderful people. I'll see you later. All right, and the, don't forget, if you're not a member of my school, schoolofwoodcarving.com, just go ahead and check it. 
schoolofwoodcarving.com. Have a wonderful day. Blessings. Stay safe. Don't get sick. And uh, be happy.